You see, if you could fist fight uh, seven dudes. I counted six. Okay, let's say six dudes at once. You probably think that you're some kind of force of nature, right? Mr. Big Shot over here, but guess what? At the end of the day, you're just a single person and... People get mugged coming home from work every day of the week. Sometimes, sometimes things just go bad. And if you don't make it home one night because you brought your fist to a gunfight or didn't take enough steroids to brush off getting hit by a tank, your strength will turn out to be futile. And it never mattered that one time you beat up a couple of bad boys. No change will come. Some more goons will just take the place and your worthless garbage life will be forgotten. Well, maybe I have it all wrong. Maybe your impressive strength and physique was not how you was planning to change the world. Maybe be through your outstanding character and you go ahead, keep telling yourself that you are emotionally deep. You probably think you're a good person, right? But who cares if you think you're a good person if you never actually do anything? Days go by, you do jack squat, you poser, and boom! Your life ends meaninglessly. And the world is just as decrepit as it was before you came along. So then what are you left to do? How do you become a true actor of change? A name that would be cemented in the history books. Oh, wise Liam Neeson, teach us how to be a vigilante like you. No, no, no. A vigilante is just a man lost in the scramble for his own gratification. He can be destroyed or locked up. But if you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an ideal, and if they can't stop you, then you become something else entirely. Which is legend, Mr. Wayne. Okay, so how did Ra's Al Ghul accomplish being a legend? How did he become more than just a man? He did so by having others buy into his ideals, so that even if he were to die, another Ra's Al Ghul would rise to take his place. So even though this Ra's doesn't have a Lazarus pit, he can still overthrow empires while also not being born for centuries. You're not Ra's Al Ghul. I watched him die. But is Ra's Al Ghul immortal? Are oh, his methods supernatural? The League of Shadows has been a check against human corruption for thousands of years. We sacked Rome, loaded trade ships with plague rats, burned London to the ground. Every time a civilization reaches the pinnacle of its decadence, we return to restore the balance. Even though Razi here ain't supernatural, he still convinced others otherwise and surpassed legendhood through not being in the spotlight, but actually quite the opposite. 
through making himself hardly seen. You know how to fight six men. We can teach you how to engage 600. You know how to disappear. We can teach you to become truly invisible. People think that social media is so great because it makes your favorite celebrities more human. But for reaching legendary status, that's the last thing you want to do, because... Theatricality and deception are powerful agents. But after seeing the person you idolize not on a movie set, without makeup on, and just on a regular Tuesday morning eating cereal, you get too good and close of a look at them, making them much less larger than life. More human, easy to control and stop, and now no longer a legend. <laughs> and Roz ain't the only legend out here hiding in the shadows. Bruce did a pretty good job at that too. And you see, Brucey was Ra's Al Ghul's greatest student, so he's probably a pretty good gauge on how to become a legend as well. Well, well, you took my advice about theatricality a bit? Literally. So what did Brucey do to make sure that if he were to, uh, hypothetically get fatally short in the mouth or eyes, or decide to be near a nuke when it blew, or died contracting a certain virus from his bats, what was Bruce's plan to make sure that his legacy would last? and that his work would live on without him. Well, he made himself into a symbol of fear. A symbol of fear that was greater and stronger than Falcone or Flass. A symbol of fear that rattled the cages of Gotham's underworld. That poked holes in the armor that everyone else assumed were impenetrable to inspire the good-hearted souls into action. People need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy, and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. As a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored, I can be destroyed, but as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I can be everlasting. What symbol? Something elemental, something terrifying. Even as a man, Bruce had a good thing going through getting Alfred and Lucius to have his back. But Bruce as the symbol of Batman got much, much more. He got Jimbo on his team. Now we're two. Rachel on his team. Someone like you. Someone to rattle the cages. And through these Fantastic Five propping up the legend of Batman, they not only beat up some bad guys, but shook Gotham's morality awake, spurred them into action, and got the city to join their team too. You really started something. Bad cops running scared, hope on the streets. And so far on our checklist, our two legends all follow the first four steps to a T. But if they were to meet up again, face to face, mano y mano, in a battle of the legends, Bruce could say to Roz, When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Because Bruce has two things that give him a leg up. The first being that he was able to witness what made his daddy a legend back in the day. In the Depression, your father nearly bankrupted Wayne Enterprises combating poverty. He believed that his example could inspire wealthy of Gotham to save their city. Did it? In a way, 
the murder shot the wealthy and the powerful into action. It was not just that Thomas died, but that his death showed everyone what the problem was. But we underestimated certain of Gotham's citizens, such as your parents. Guns down by one of the very people they were trying to help. Create enough hunger and everyone becomes a criminal. Their deaths galvanized the city into saving itself, and Gotham has limped on ever since. And unlike Roz, who is fueled by grief and a pursuit of blind justice, Bruce witnessing how Thomas's characteristics of hope, helping others, and perseverance, how these are the ideals to center your legend in. What have I done, Alfred? Everything my family, my father built. The white legacy is more than bricks and mortars. I wanted to save Gotham. I failed. Why do we fall, sir? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. And finally, what Bruce had that made him the most legendary was something he was able to see in his father, but was only able to learn from Rachel. That if you keep telling yourself that deep down you're a good person, that don't mean much at all without any action. Bruce. Deep down, you may still be that same great kid you used to be. But it's not who you are underneath. But what I do that defines me. 